Hey everybody and finally I can welcome you to the start of another weekly reading vlog. So I have been trying to do reading vlogs again for a while now and I've started multiple reading vlogs but I've never finished them or uploaded them. So if you are watching this then I finally succeeded in doing a reading vlog again and even though I call it a weekly reading vlog it's actually already Thursday afternoon so it's more of like a long weekend reading vlog. I guess I have to start somewhere. So yeah, this time I'm really going for it because I really do want to do the weekly reading vlogs again because you guys always seem to enjoy them so much and I liked filming them but somehow I just wasn't really feeling like it. So I do want to make an effort to do them again, especially since we're now at the beginning of a new school year, like a new work year, summer is over. We're getting into a more of like a normal routine or however that is possible right now with the whole pandemic going on. But yeah, I do want to do more reading vlogs. I guess that's sort of like the gist of it and I really hope I can manage to do so. So yeah I guess just starting with talking to you or like telling you what I'm currently reading because finally after having been in a reading slump for like weeks I'm finally sort of like back into the reading mood and I am reading again and it is amazing. And the physical book that I'm currently reading is Lila Girls by Marta Hall Kelly and this is a historical fiction book about three women during World War II. The first one is named Caroline and she is a socialite who lives in New York City. The second one is a girl named Kasia who lives in Poland and the third one is a girl named Herta who lives in Nazi Germany. So of course those are very different perspectives from very different women and that is what so far has made it so interesting. I feel like I say this in every single video that I film but if you know me a little bit then you know that I really do love books about World War II and just historical fiction in general. This is also the book that was gifted to me by Leonie from the book Leo with our book haul swap and it has taken me so long to finally pick it up but I'm doing it right now. And I'm currently at page, let me see, 83. So I haven't read that much yet, but I've definitely made a start with it. And so far it is very promising and I'm very much intrigued with all three of these stories. They're so different, but so well written and it definitely sounds or promises to be a good book, one that I'm really going to love. I will say though, the one thing that I'm not a massive fan of is that you're constantly switching between the three women so every time i'm sort of into a story and into a chapter i really get out of it and then it's really hard to get back into the next chapter with the another story or the another the other story like every time i'm really into it i have to switch my mind to another person like another one of the three main characters and i feel like it happens a bit too often i feel like the chapters could have been a bit longer maybe i don't know i don't know also why it bothers me particularly with this book because I have other books, I've read other books that have the same thing but somehow with this book it really takes me out of it. I guess because all three stories and all three perspectives are so very different and yeah that's I guess the only thing that makes it hard to sort of I guess binge read it because every time I'm really into it we come to another chapter with another main character and I'm like oh wait I have to switch back to that one. I don't feel like that right now I'm just going to pick it up another time. So I'm reading it slowly basically chapter by chapter which is also fine like I'm not in a hurry or anything. Uh, yeah, again, I do really love the story and yeah, it sounds like it promises to be probably tragic because you know, World War II, it usually is. Yeah, I'm just going to continue with it. Uh, yeah. Until I finish it, I guess, and I am happy to be reading a physical book again. Then I'm also listening to an audiobook because I always do that again, sort of like a hallmark of my reading vlogs but it's nice to be doing it again it has been such a while and with my audiobook i am still listening to the seven sister series by lucinda riley i am now on book four which is the pearl sister and it tells the story of the fourth sister so in case you don't know i've said this multiple times in videos. The Seven Sisters is a book series about six sisters, which is sort of weird, but like probably it gets explained in the last book. But anyway, six adopted sisters and at the beginning of the series, their adopted father dies. They all get a clue to their true heritage, where they come from, where they were born. And to that, there's another story connected in like a historical setting, which is usually related or like it is related to the sister in question. So every book is about one sister going out to find her true heritage then finding out about some amazing love story that happened in the past and then yeah it is so straightforward like literally every book is just the same it's just a different sister and a different historical story but it's nice it's been really nice to listen to the audiobooks because they're just they're fun nothing too special but also just enjoyable they're a bit melodramatic a bit over the top like it is far-fetched there are a lot of things in these stories that are quite far-fetched but also they are sweet and nice and now i'm listening to 
the Pearl Sister, which is about CC. And with this one, it's sort of weird because I'm not very much interested in CC's story in the present day, but I really like the historical counterpart to it, which is about a woman named Kitty and like lots of things are happening there. So again, I guess I have a book where I like certain parts more than other parts i guess i don't know every book is sort of different but also so very much the same and yeah, i'm just going to finish this entire series because the audiobooks are just so addictive and i guess that's exactly what i need right now and yeah just having a good time with this audiobook and uh yeah i'm like two thirds through the way with the audiobook not that much left of it but also still a bit <laughs> and that is it for my reading right now and yeah i'm pretty pleased with it i'm happy that i'm sort of like in a normal reading flow again i'm reading a bit of lila girls every night i'm listening to my audiobook during my morning routine or when i'm cleaning up just the same old same old and it is nice for things to feel a bit normal again. Also, you might have heard it because I talked about it in my recent TBR video, but I've started a new yeah, master's degree. So it's starting, well, there's something already starting tomorrow, like I have to do some things tomorrow, but the official classes are starting on Monday. I don't know when this video is going online, but they've probably already started by then. So I have some things that I need to read and need to learn. So I've been doing some study things today and also tomorrow and also this weekend. So yeah, I guess life is after a sort of weird summer, I guess. Yes, a weird unusual summer is going back to some sort of normal and yeah again i think reading vlogs like filming everything fits with that perfectly and i do really want to film more youtube videos in general again so i have to i guess sort of figure out more of like a daily routine or a weekly routine where i can plan videos do school stuff and everything and yeah, just see how it goes. For now, I have to get back to my study things. I'm probably going for a walk later. Same things as always, but it has been a while since I filmed it. <laughs> okay, it is now Saturday. It is two days later and I think it's time for another vlog update, which means that you probably are going to see this vlog and that I probably am going to edit it and upload it, which is a good sign. Also today I've been to the hairdressers, which is why it's a bit yeah, I don't know, poofy. Uh, they blow dried it there. So um, yeah, it's also like dark again up here. The color is all nice again. But anyway, I think it's time for some reading updates. So the bad news is that I've barely read anything of Lilac Girls. Like I maybe read 20 pages since Thursday. It really isn't that much. But mostly like I read during the evening before I go to sleep and I wasn't feeling like it the past two days so yeah that's why i haven't read that much of it i did read a little bit of it when i was at the hairdressers today when the color was like doing its magic in my hair then you have to wait of course so i had some reading time then but then also the um yeah i guess good news is that i'm almost finished with the pearl sister by lucinda riley so i have only 20 minutes of audiobook left which i will most definitely listen to either tonight or tomorrow morning and yeah i've definitely enjoyed the audiobook as i did with all the audiobooks of the seven sister series so far i'm not really sure how i want to rate this one with like the other ones yeah i don't know it's just a bit weird and all the books have have good things all the books have bad things and this one had a really good historical story but i'm not completely sure about the present day story which i believe i mentioned before so yeah i'm just going to listen to the last 20 minutes and then give you my final thoughts and yeah see what i think of it in conclusion <laughs> and yeah apart from that nothing new to tell yeah still school things are going on i've been playing a bit of sims lately which i haven't done in ages but of course as always playing the sims is very addictive and yeah it's just really nice to do that i guess a bit of gaming i've been doing some house inspiration online looking for some furniture because in case you don't know if you haven't watched my latest tbr video i am going to move out of my parents house i'm going to move to my own apartment in rotterdam in the City. so i need furniture and i need uh, an interior and i need to decorate and everything so of course i still have more than two months because i don't get the keys to my house until halfway through november but i have to prepare and yeah i'm just slowly doing that in between watching a bit online see what i like when it comes to furniture and like decoration style and i guess that's pretty much what's going on in my life the more i have more study stuff to do i have to prepare for some uh, courses and everything but for now i'm going to get into my pajamas and i think i'm going to take a nice shower i don't have to wash my hair but of course a shower is always nice and yeah just have a fun relaxing evening and maybe i will even read a bit more of the lilac girls so fingers crossed for that <laughs>
Hello, it is now Monday. I didn't film that much over the weekend apart from like on a walk I went yesterday because the weather was so lovely. But yeah, as I said, it's now Monday. It's also like the first day of like my official first week of my master's degree. Like last week there were also some things I needed to do but now it's like the official start of the lectures and the courses and everything so that is pretty exciting. Also a bit nervous but yeah it's just I'm just going to take it one day at a time because uh, yeah it's something completely new and different so I just have to see how everything is going to go but of course it's also something new so that can be like a tiny bit scary but anyway I'm just going to take it as it comes and you'll probably see my first official week next week in like my next reading vlog don't even know when this reading vlog is going to be uploaded because I have no idea when I have the time to edit it so yeah, just figuring out my new schedule and everything. Back to reading updates because first of all, I did finish The Pearl Sister by Lucinda Riley. So yeah, overall I did like it. I had a good time listening to it, but mostly the historical parts, like the parts in the present, as I believe I said before, just weren't my all-time favorite of like all the Seven Sister books. But the historical parts were really great. So yeah, uh, I think I gave it like 3.5 like three and a half stars out of five stars i'm now listening to the next book in the series which is called the moon sister and it's about the fifth sister and so far i'm not massively impressed with it yet i think probably because this book and this sister is the one that i identify the least with for me personally so it just isn't doing it for me yet but i'm really excited for the sixth book because that sister just sounds so interesting because she's not that likable and this won't make sense if you don't know the series and anything but yeah i just have to go through the fifth book to to get to the sixth book and just finish well not finish because there is going to be another book in this series i just have to continue with it and um yeah see if hopefully it gets a bit better throughout the audiobook but so far i'm not too impressed with the moon sister yet and also i did read more of uh, lila girls i'm now at page let me see 152 so yeah i have made some progress with it also i believe like every time i'm moving i'm shaking my camera i'm sorry <laughs> this is probably not the best setup but we're just going to go with it anyway lilac girls and still i think the story is amazing and the writing is amazing and everything but i'm still so annoyed with the way the chapter ends and as i mentioned before it's like you really get into the point of view and then it suddenly stops i feel like i can now explain it more why i dislike it so much because not only is it like a quick change of point of views but also the writer has the tendency to end every chapter with a cliffhanger and not even like a complete cliffhanger but half a cliffhanger so for example one chapter ended with i have some really bad news and then it stops and then at the start of the next chapter from the next pov which is like three chapters further it says like what the bad news is and then it goes on with like the consequences of the bad news and that annoys me so much that you stop every chapter in the middle of like an exciting scene and it feels like a bit of a cheap way to me to sort of get the attention of readers because why not end the chapter with the actual bad news and then you're interested and then the next chapter can be about how they are dealing with the bad news and it's not only with things like that it, they do it like the author does it with every single chapter they end in the middle of a tense or exciting situation you don't know what is happening and then the next pov chapter which is three chapters away or even more like sometimes it's even more continues right in the middle of the tense situation and it just really annoys me because it feels like if your book is well written you don't need to do that you don't need to end chapters in the middle of like a tense situation to sort of like have a cliffhanger and it's starting to really annoy me which is a shame because overall this book is amazing and i love historical stories and i love like historical fiction and everything i just really wish the book would stop with doing that at the end of each chapter because every time it gets me really out of the book it makes it really hard to continue reading because after every chapter i'm sort of like well I don't feel like continuing right now because I want to know what happens with this person in the middle of this situation and I can't do that so yeah I don't know it's just maybe it's a bit like nitpicking but for me it really annoys me and just don't do that you don't need to do that just make your writing and your story okay and then you don't need to do like those weird annoying cliffhangers every chapter so yeah that is it for like a mini rant on the writing of lila girls but apart from that it's still an amazing story so i am going to continue with it but maybe i will pick another physical book to read as well because as i mentioned before this book just really gets me out of it every time 
at the end of a chapter so maybe I just should do it like a chapter a day or something I don't know again that is something for next week and next week's reading vlog so yeah I think I'm just going to end this reading vlog for now um Probably not the best reading vlog I've ever done, but at least it's something. And at least I finally finished a reading vlog and you're finally going to see one, which is also something. And yeah, please let me know uh, if you're happy to see that the reading vlogs are back again. If there's something that you want to see or like how I can improve them or anything. I don't know. Just tell me what you thought of this one and then I'm going to see how I can make them more fun. How I can keep up doing the reading vlogs and yeah. Now I have to get back to some school things, so I'm just going to end it. And I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, maybe give it a thumbs up or subscribe or share or whatever. As always, I would really appreciate that. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon in my next video. And yeah, bye!